In the last video, we have learned about the if statements and how to use it in Python programming language. In this video, let's look at the other conditional statements in Python. Let's start with while statements. Now, to explain the working of while statement, I'll write the code like this. See, num is equal to 0, while num is less than 10, then print num, after that increment the num by 1. I'll execute the code now and then we will analyze as how it's implemented. Okay, great, we have the output. So, the output we have is the number between 0 and 9. Now, let's look at our code to understand as why that we have got this as output. First, I have initialized the value of variable num to be equal to 0. And after that, I have written the while statement and enter the condition expression as num is less than 10. And inside the while code block, I have printed the value of the variable num and incremented by 1 like this. So the way the while statement works is, the statements inside the while code block will be executed any number of times until the condition is satisfied. So in this example, the condition of num being less than 10 was true until it reached the value of 9. After that, when the variable num was incremented by 1 and its value changed to 10. Once it became 10, the condition expression inside the while statement became false and hence it came out of the while loop. So guys, now that you know as how it works. So let me again run it by modifying the code so that you can have an intuition as how it works. See num is equal to 0 while num is less than 15, print num and increment the num by 1. So guys, this time we are running the loop until the value of num is less than 15. That means we will have the output as numbers between 0 and 14. So let me execute the code. See, we have the output of numbers between 0 and 14. Just to clear any confusion, after the exit from while loop, if any other statements are present, it will be executed normally. Yes, it will be executed normally. So to illustrate this, what I'll do is I'll just add a print statement like this. See, print the value of num after the exit from the while loop is comma num and then print end. So guys, I have now added two print statements after the while loop. So let's execute the code. Great, we have the output just like we expected. Now, inside the while loops, we use two common statements. They are break and continue. I'll include the break statement in our previous code like this. And based on the output, we will analyze as how it works. So, in our code, after printing the value of num variable, I have added one more condition to check if the value of num is equal to 7. And as you can observe, in Python, we use double equal symbol to check the equality. Now, if the condition expression is true, then the system will execute the break statement. So, let's see what will be the output of this program. Yes, we have the output as numbers between 0 and 7. So, what break statement will do in our current example is, the break statement will exit the while loop when a particular condition is reached. Hence, in our program, when the value of num reached as 7, then the system came out of while loop and hence, no other values are printed in output. Okay? Now, let's look at the continue statement in Python. I'll now write the example program with the continue statement like this. And this time, inside the while loop, I have first incremented the value of num and then we are checking if it is equal to 7. So, if the condition is satisfied, then we are executing the continue statement. Then, after the if code block, we are printing the value of num like this. So, let's execute the code. 
we can see that we have the output between 1 and 15 and we are getting the output like this because we are incrementing the value of num and then printing it. So, we have the output with the numbers between 1 and 15. But, but if you observe, we can see that the number 7 is missing in the output. This is because with the use of continuous statement, the execution of that current iteration is skipped. Hence, in our case, when the value of num became 7, the condition being equal to 7 has been satisfied in the if code block. Now, when it came across the continuous statement, it came out of the current iteration. And hence, the print statement which is present after the continue statement was not run on that particular iteration. So guys, this was all about the while loops in Python.